All right, let's discuss some date and time constants. So, date and time constants fall under the classification of what's called VBScript runtime constants. And these are variables that return some value to the user. They are like constants that we discussed, guys, but they give you back a dynamic value, which means it changes depending on what that constant does. So, for example, we have VB Sunday, which is always going to return you the value of 1, and it stands for Sunday. Let's take a look. And you guys notice how this is blue and this is blue because they are both VB script reserved words. You see that? 1. VB Monday will return you the value of 2. And then VB Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on will continue the values following that. You guys see that? So remember, I told you guys that we would discuss all of the reserved words, and we are. As we're going through them, I am showing you guys what's going on so that you completely understand the entire VB script language. How awesome is that? Anyways, so we got more date and time constants like VB script first four days. This value is two and is the first week with a minimum of four days in the new year. There's also VB script full week, which values three and is the first full week of the year. Next, VB use system day of week. Its value is always zero and is the day of week as specified by the operating system. Okay. Next, we got a few more very useful reserved words. I'm going to be honest, these are probably not too useful. I've rarely ever used them, but these guys are pretty useful along with these guys. If you're dealing with calendars, dates, and so on, you may come across this. So this weekday, it's a function that returns the day of the week. And what I'm going to pass to weekday is date which retrieves the current date from the computer. Because this is a function. You guys see that? It's 1. What does that tell you guys? It is telling you guys that right now it's Sunday where I'm recording. So let me show you a quick example of why you may want to use this. All right, so I'm going to get today's date. I'm going to convert that into a integer, and then I'm going to run this statement. Let's see it. Um, so that's here displaying one. And you guys see that? It's the last day of the weekend. And sad face and exclamation points.